No code makes it so much easier to build robust and functional applications, even if you have no technical experience. And if you are a programmer, it's a great way to speed up your development or prototype a product quickly. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you this amazing no code AI automations platform. It's an end to end ecosystem that's going to help you build, deploy and manage AI applications. In this sponsored video, we'll first be diving into what VectorShift is and the features it offers. After exploring that, I'll take you through step by step as we build and deploy our very own search engine chatbot. So make sure you stay until the end of the video here. I think you're really going to enjoy this. This platform is called VectorShift. It's an integrated framework of no code, low code, and out of the box generative AI solutions to build many things from AI search engines, assistance, chatbots, as well as automations. And it's going to help make development so much easier. And as a marketplace of pre-built use cases and tons of integrations and automation, that's going to let you live sync with tons of different database types from Google Drive, OneDrive, Airtable, and Notion. It also works seamlessly with the latest LLMs from OpenAI, Anthropic, Hugging Face, Google, Llama, and more. So VectorShift is very powerful and it's going to give you a ton of workflow automation. But I think the best way to show this is to walk through an example just to show you how easy it is to build. There's also a completely free plan that requires no credit card monthly, so you can follow along as I go and build this search engine chatbot. There's also a link for this product in the description below to make it easier to find. So I'm going to log in and let's get started. First, let's take a look at the overview here of the platform so I can show you where everything is and also the types of products you can build with this. So when you first get loaded, it's going to show you pipelines and the recommended templates. There are quite a few here that are going to make it super easy to get set up. Whether you're looking to build a simple chatbot, search documents, some cool ones are AI with Google search. So it's going to allow you to ask questions that are going to be answered using AI plus Google search results. You can have a customer support chatbot template, helping really speed that up. You can search through Gmail. You can turn blog articles out extremely quickly with a blog article generator template. You can search Google Drive, search Discord, and much more. And these are just pre-built templates here, and you can add tons of different customizations by yourself. So in terms of an overview of the platform, we're in pipelines here. I think a really cool feature of this is the marketplace. And here we can leverage what people have already built on the platform. We can see someone had built a simple image generator, a CSV document search, and we can sort here at the top whether we're looking for existing pipelines to build off of. That's just going to help speed up our development. And with our pipelines, we can get overall analytics to see how they're performing, as well as viewing all our existing chatbots. We can even create our own knowledge base from scratch. So let's go and start building. I'm going to hit create pipeline in the top here. And what's going to show up next is our no code interface. And so if we want to add any elements, we can select which ones we're looking to add. And all we have to do is just drag it and drop it on the page and we can move it around. And I'm going to start adding some items and then we're going to connect them and then we're going to deploy it. So let's start with our search engine documentation chatbot here. So you also want to start with an input and an output. That's going to be a pipeline and it's going to flow through each step until we get to our end action. And that's going to be our final result. So I'm going to start with the input and output on each side. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make sure it's easier to see. And I'm going to add some block elements. Then I'll explain how to connect them and where we're going to get our resources. So I'm going to add a knowledge base block here. I did so at the top by just hovering over knowledge base, clicking on it, and then dragging it below. For the LMs, I'm just going to stick with OpenAI here, as I find that usually works quite well. So what I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to take an older SaaS product I ended up creating a landing page for. It has a bunch of documentation on it and questions. I'm going to create a chatbot that people can interface with so they can understand more and find out where the contact information is, how much it costs, rather than having to read the whole landing page or FAQ section. So this is the landing page here. It has information on what the product does. And if we scroll to the bottom, I just had a bunch of FAQs generated that our chatbot is going to use as a database that's super easy to scan and read. So in terms of our overall flow, we have our input, which is going to query our knowledge base, send our question to OpenAI, and then it's going to generate our output here. So first step is we need to create a knowledge base. Now, as mentioned, there are tons of different integrations and all we have to do is hit create a new knowledge base. I'm just going to call this thank you reels docs. I'm going to hit confirm. Next, what we have to do is click edit knowledge base and here we can go and add our data and we do so by hitting add document. And there are tons of different types here. We could add files manually. We could set up an integration such as Airtable, Google Sheets, Dropbox Team, Dropbox, GitHub. Any of these are going to work and this is going to give you live syncing between the two, making it super up to date. 
We could also use a URL, which I'm going to do in this video. There's also the option to use a recursive URL. And to note about the URLs, we can set the sync frequency. So we can rescrape the URL on a minutely, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly basis to get up to date information. We can also have YouTube, Wikipedia, as well as Git, so many different loader type options here. I'm going to select a URL and I'm just going to paste it in here. And for the sync frequency, I'm just going to set this to a daily basis. I'll click add next and it's going to add our document into our knowledge base. Now we can add many different types of data here. I could go and add another URL if I wanted to, or I could set up those integrations and we could have tons of different types of data added into this knowledge base. This is going to give many different options to scan through, and it's just going to give our chatbot more and more information to answer questions. So we can see the status is green now, and it has last been just synced now. So we've loaded the information here. So I can exit out of this now. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and let's start setting up everything here. So the system prompt is going to be the overall instructions. So I've actually pre-written this system response here. So feel free to copy this. I'll leave a link in the description below. And it's just going to help make our results a little more accurate here. So it's basically you're an external chatbot for my SaaS company. Thank you, Reels. You're going to be answering questions about the product. You answer the question based on context and you answer the question in a concise error. So overall, it's just gonna make our chatbot respond better. So I'm gonna add this in here at the top. Now you may be wondering what question and context are, and let's go and add those in now. So we can add different variables to our prompt here, which are gonna fill in with what we actually have in our input. And so I can organize them in this format. I can write the title here, so it's going to be plain text question. And then to add my variable, I can do left curly bracket, left curly bracket, question, and then close it with two right curly brackets. And below that, I can add plain text again, context, and a line break below that. Instead of question this time, I'm going to add the variable context. So this is just going to create these circles here on the left. And so what I can do is I can actually drag the results here into context. And for the question, I can drag from my input. It's going to show you an error preview and where you're going. And I can drag it to the question here. And for the input, I also want it to trigger our query for our knowledge base reader. So essentially this flow is going to start from our input. So the question, it could be something like how much it costs. And it's going to first trigger here, go to our question, add this in, and then go to our knowledge base reader. And it's going to pass the results here to our context. And it's going to make it much easier for OpenAI to answer this question. And based on this response, we can drag this over to our output status. So it's quite a basic version here. And I really only added a few blocks. And let's go and see how this runs. So if I click run pipeline in the top right, I can see our input. So I can go and change this, preview our output below. So let's say, how much does this cost? Actually, you know what? I'll change this to, does this include a free trial? So let's hit run here. We can see it running through the steps. I can see it took 0 0.0051 seconds, 0 0.34 seconds. Our LLM is currently running. I can see our output. Yes, thank you real includes a 14 day free trial. No credit card required. And we can see it has the links that I included here. Now I only have one link, so maybe I would remove the second title here if I wasn't including a lot of data. And if I head to the landing page, which I can just open up with this link here, let's go to a new tab. And I can see, yes, 14 day free trial, no credit card required. So I know it integrates with Shopify. So let's ask what the integrations are. What are the integrations? So let's hit run again. And I can see here, thank you reels integrates directly with Shopify. The integration can be completed with a simple one-click process and order details from Shopify are automatically synced. So it's great to know and that answers the question quickly and concisely. I might add here questions in a concise answer, but be friendly and chatty like a customer service agent. So let's hit run again. Maybe I'll change chatty to just be friendly. So I think that looks a little better here. It's saying here's how it works, explaining the integration. And so as mentioned, we can turn this into a chatbot format. We can preview it here, but I want to focus on deploying this and we can do so under the rocket ship icon by clicking deploy changes. So I was going to publish that there. Then if I click on deploy with the gear icon, I can see the chatbot is listed and that's what I want to click on. So I can give it a name. I'm just going to call this thank you. Reels. I'll hit save here. Next, I'll go to export and I can leave this on a separate URL. So if I go and open this URL up, I can see the chatbot provided by vector shift. So I can repeat that query, even just say, what does this product do? And it's going to process it all at once. Something we can do to actually make this appear like it's speeding up is head to the gear icon over our open AI LLM and hit a stream response there. So let's hit deploy changes. And let's repeat our query here. And it's going to write it out like chat GPT does, which is going to make it feel like a more immediate answer as it's going to be coming out line by line. So we can see what is thank you reels, the benefits, who can use it, if there's a free trial. So let's go and embed this on our website instead of just having it as a separate URL. So if I go to export, 
Under the bottom here, I can see embed this website. So I'll click the iframe. I'm just gonna head to the back end here for my landing page builder. I'll just add this at the end of the body here. I'll hit save, let's hit publish. Let's click on the viewer URL to view it now. And if I load this again here, I can see our vector shift chatbot. If I can close it, I can load it again here in the bottom right. And I can now see the chatbot in the bottom right here. So I could say something like, how does this help my Shopify store? Let's go something a little more complex than just asking generic questions such as how much it costs. So it's gonna process this request here and it's gonna say it's gonna help me boost LTV. It's gonna have a seamless integration. And overall, that's gonna make it super easy for me to understand exactly why I need this product for my store. So overall, that's super easy to integrate here. And it would take me so much longer to actually go and create a scannable database and creating a chatbot here. And if we head back to the pipeline, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. It's a very basic pipeline that takes an input, runs it through our database, goes through our open AI LLM, and then generates a response. And if we go to edit knowledge base, I only have one document here. If you're working with a much more complex database with tons of URLs, tons of answers, or maybe you wanna scan through an entire website. You can do so quite quickly and it's super easy to add documents. Now, as mentioned, that's just one template. There are tons of different assistants, productivity templates, content creation templates, and it's gonna integrate with tons of different platforms. So that's the overview of VectorShift, the no-code AI automations platform. I'll leave a link for this in the description below and I hope you enjoyed this sponsored video. If you did, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.